Hello everyone! Welcome sa ating second solve problem para sa quotient rule of differentiation. When we talk about quotient rule, we let u and v be functions of x kapag given tayo ng dalawang functions and then kinukuha natin yung quotient nila, we have u over v where yung u yung nasa numerator at yung v yung nasa denominator. If we are getting their derivatives, this is just equal to, gamitin lang natin tong formula na to for quotient rule. So we copy our low v times the derivative of our high u minus, kukopyahin naman natin yung nasa taas u times ang kukuha na natin ng derivative ay yung nasa baba natin na v and then this is all over the square of our denominator v. Ito yung gagamitin natin para makakuha tayo ng derivative in the form u over v. Now, let us apply this on our example. So, we have y is equal to 2x squared minus 5 all over 3x plus 1. As you can see here, etong nasa numerator natin, 2x squared minus 5, we let this be our u. Siya yung function natin na nasa taas. So, that is 2x squared minus 5. Tapos, yung nasa denominator naman natin, yung 3x plus 1, that is our v. So, we let that be equal to 3x plus 1. Then, applying our formula for quotient rule of differentiation, apply tayo ng derivative, dy over dx is just equal to, kopyahin natin yung v, so we have here 3x plus 1, siya yung nasa denominator, so we copy our denominator, our low 3x plus 1, tapos imumultiply natin siya sa derivative nung u natin, yung nasa taas, the derivative of 2x squared minus 5. Directly getting its derivative kapag kinuha natin siya, since yung 2x squared tsaka yung 5 is separated by subtraction, pwede natin kuhanin yung derivative nila separately. Yung 2x squared muna tapos yung 5. To get the derivative of 2x squared, i-pull out muna natin si 2, tapos yung x squared para makuha natin yung derivative, we apply our power rule. Na kapag kumukuha tayo ng derivative of x raised to a certain exponent n, this is just equal to, ibababa lang natin yung exponent na n, tapos yung exponent ay babawasan natin ng isa. We put it down, tapos imumultiply natin yung exponent ay babawasan natin ng isa. Then we apply this dito sa ating x squared. Since our exponent is 2, ibababa lang natin yung 2. So this is 2 times 2, and then we have our x, tapos yung exponent na 2 ay babawasan natin ng isa. So this is 2 minus 1. Then, tapos na tayo on this part, minus, we have the same operation, 5. If we will be getting the derivative of a constant, this 5 is a constant, that is just equal to 0. Kaya, ito siya. Then, tapos na tayo dun sa v, ito yung nasa denominator, times the derivative of our numerator u. Then, following the formula, we subtract. Kokopyahin naman natin yung nasa numerator natin, we have our u, that is 2x squared minus 5. So, we copy that out, we have... 2x squared minus 5. Tapos, imumultiply naman natin siya sa derivative nung nasa denominator natin, our v, that is 3x plus 1. We apply the same process. We get the derivative of 3x and then 1. So, let's start with our 3x. Ilabas muna natin yung 3 and then let us get the derivative of x. Since we can represent our x as x raised to 1, pwede nating ibaba yung exponent by applying our power rule. So, we have an exponent of 1. Ibababa natin siya. Tapos yung x natin, yung 1, babawasan natin ng isa. So, we have 1 minus 1. And then, addition tayo for this part. Tapos na tayo kay 3x. Si 1, this is also a constant. The derivative of a constant is just equal to 0. Now, we have this 1. Tapos na tayo dun sa numerator. Let us proceed with our denominator. Yung v, yung nasa baba na 3x plus 1, kukuhanin natin yung square niya. So, this is all over. We have our denominator here, v. 3x plus 1, and then squared. Ang kailangan na lang natin gawin ay simplify etong nasa numerator kasi tapos na tayo dun sa process ng paggamit ng quotient rule of differentiation. Now, we simplify. Algebra na lang tong part na to. Eto muna. So, this is just equal to we copy our 3x plus 1 here. 3x plus 1. Tapos, we have our 2. 2 times 2, this is 4. Tapos, x. 2 minus 1 is just 1. x raised to 1 or simply, okay na to sa x. Kaya, this is only 4x. And then minus, eto tayo. We have 2x squared minus 5. Tapos for this one, we have 3 times 1 is 3. 
tapos eto will become x raised to 0. If you have a 0 exponent, that is just equal to 1. So our x raised to 0, this part, is just equal to 1. So we have 3 times 1 times 1. Ang matitira na lang dito plus 0 is simply equal to 3. Ngayon, mas madali na siyang tignan. We have our denominator. Isulat lang natin. This is all over 3x plus 1 and then squared. Kaya pa tong isimplify, let us perform our multiplication. So this is just equal to 3x times 4x. 3 times 4, that is 12. Tapos x times x, meron silang tig isa. If you are multiplying exponents with the same base, i-add lang natin yung exponent. So 1 plus 1, that is 2. So this is x squared. Then we have 1 times 4x, that is just equal to 4x minus, wag natin kalimutan yung grouping symbol kasi etong buong to ang nakasubtract. So we have 2x squared times 3, that is just equal to 6x squared. Tapos we have 5 times 3, that is 15. So we have minus 15. Then we have our denominator, this is still 3x plus 1 and then squared. Then we can perform our operation na nasa numerator. Since kinukuha na natin ng subtraction etong buong to, we have to change the signs para maidiretso natin siya. So this is just equal to 12x squared plus 4x. This is a common mistake na kapag ka, we have subtraction here, ang kadalasan nangyayari ay eto lang ang nababago yung sign. Pero we are subtracting sa buo, kaya this should be minus 6x squared. Tapos yung minus 15 dahil subtraction, this will become plus 15. Now that we can perform our operations sa numerator, isulat lang natin to. We have our denominator as 3x plus 1 and then squared. Tapos ano yung common? We have 12x squared tsaka 6x squared. 12x squared minus 6x squared, that is just equal to positive 6x squared. Tapos yung 4x wala naman, so we have plus 4x and then plus 15. So we have 6x squared plus 4x plus 15. This is still all over our denominator that is 3x plus 1 squared. Now we were able to simplify our answer. This is our derivative dy over dx. Ito na yung derivative ng ating function by applying our quotient rule of differentiation. This is it for our solve problem number 2 para sa quotient rule of differentiation. See you on our next lecture video for our example number 3.